I think once people get a chance to play Flower, they're going to be talking about how new and unique and emotional the experience is. I think Flower, as, a, as what we call it, is a video game version of a poem, um, I think asks something different of the player. We are a generation of game makers who have now uh, grown up our whole lives with video games. We see the potential for what an impact they can have on us. With that game company, we start our ideas with an emotion of uh, how we want the player to feel. And then we bring in um, the engine, the art direction, the music, uh, and everything, and the interaction, what the player's doing in the game together to try and set that tone. The concept of Flower started with uh, Genova Chen, who's the creative director. His inspirations from moving from Shanghai, China, to Los Angeles, and growing up in this extremely urban environment and moving to a, a relatively more rural one. The contrast between the bustle of a city and um, the serenity of nature. When we start off on a concept, we just make lots and lots of little teeny prototypes of different ideas and different things we could possibly use to try and see if it would work because it's all experimental at that stage. The current um, gameplay kind of came from this one bug, all of a sudden just these petals from the flowers were bouncing through the air. We just got an immediate emotional reaction to it and so we said that's where we got to go. The mechanics and the controls of the games uh, draw the player into, into this experience where they, they get to soar around beautiful environments and, and explore things on their own time. It's quite unique and, and actually a, a very deep emotional experience. You're presented with um, a, an apartment in a city and on the windowsill is one flower. And when you focus in on that flower, you're taken into this imaginary landscape. You can blow wind and collect flower petals and move through different environments to change the world. The controls are pretty simple. You use the six axis controller to tilt um, and move the swarm. And then every button does the exact same thing there's this open-endedness to the experience. There's no score, uh, there, there's no time limit, um, there's no death. And the tagline for us has been life in balance. So through the game, um, trying to find balance and harmony between these disparate elements of nature and city. Sony's taking, in what my opinion, is a very unique and fresh approach to uh, the types of content that they're putting on to um, the PlayStation Network. The idea behind what we're doing is to give a huge variety uh, of games and interactive experiences. We've got stuff for the hardcore player, stuff for the casual gamer, and in all honesty, stuff for people who just want to try something new and different. With downloadable games, you can have smaller teams and smaller budgets, which means we can take more creative risks. And now we're seeing all sorts of games that wouldn't have been published without, uh, the, without PlayStation Network. The experience is very different than other games. And I think when you're playing Flower, you will feel different than, than when you play other games. I think we're, we're breaking down barriers that, that people for a long time have been maybe a little leery to go near. Uh, we've been able to tap into uh, a new type of experience that nobody's ever seen before. We're continuing to try and create games that express unique emotions and hopefully push the boundaries of, of what we think games can do.